Everybody gets 30 questions apiece. Front and center. What, now that you're at the back end of it, how did this spring go? In comparison, right, and kind of knowing the limitations that you had, did you get what you wanted out of it? So I, I think most coaches would, you know, want first and foremost to be healthy, you know, and go through the spring. And, and uh, we, we were very healthy. And um, I think they really learned how to, you know, prepare the right way. Uh, we, we did have a lot of new players that needed to be um, uh, educated in the way we practice. I, I thought that they learned. Uh, we had some moments early on that we, you know, had to stop and, and, and teach. But I told them just a few minutes ago that I was really proud of the way they um, adapted, you know, after we pointed out that we weren't practicing quite the way I wanted to. And I thought the last two weeks were outstanding. So injury-free, practicing the right way, uh, and then developing, you know, the, the continuity that we needed with the transfers on defense and then the young players on offense. Um, I think we hit all of those. And uh, at the same time, um, I think we feel that we, we also, uh, through our strength and conditioning program, um, you know, we're, we're a better football team from uh, a standpoint of all of the returners as well. And just kind of building on that, from, from year one to year two, I guess what do you hope to learn from the spring game in terms of just how, how your team operates in that kind of setting? Yeah, so I, I think I've made this clear a couple of times is that I didn't want to get too far ahead in a sense of not focusing on – you know, the attention to detail necessary to build the, the solid foundation of a program. But at the same time, you want to see cleaner execution. You want to see a preciseness um, on your offense and a confidence when you have a returning quarterback or two. And, you know, uh, a, you know again, last year we, we were – you know, trying to figure out who the five offensive linemen were, right? We, we've got a pretty good sense of, you know, what that looks like. So I think we go into this with the first unit should look like a first unit top offense in the country. They sh you should go into the spring game going, uh-huh, that, that looks pretty good. And then defensively, uh, you know, the ideal situation would be the guys that they took out of the portal, they're going to help. Uh, that, those, are, those are really good additions. And so I think if we walk away that from, from those two observations, um, I, I think that, that's, that I would feel good if you guys would write that stuff. If that's what you end up writing. You write whatever you want, obviously, I know that. Um, but if that's what you write about, that, that, would, that would be good. You had some nice things to say about Jaden yesterday uh, on that uh, radio show. Just could you kind of elaborate, I guess, again, or you can give it to us? I mean, just what kind of strides have you seen him make in both uh, body structure-wise, but then also – Yeah, I mean, he's over 210 pounds. He's thicker. He's stronger. Um, th this is much more about uh, veteran presence now than – acclimating to a new program. I, I think that that's really the difference here. So now you've got a guy that's helping the freshman tight ends, you know, listen, sit down on this route. Don't, you know, d don't, you know, don't drag, sit down, I'll get you the football, you know, that those kind of nuances. So it's, it's harder sometimes to explain it, but you can kind of sense it and see it just by his interactions with, you know, Malik in terms of where he wants the football and, um, you know, how he is uh, just addressing the offensive line when he's making calls. There's just a, you know, a different presence to him.
Hey, Brian, obviously we got to see uh, Mason Smith and Deshaun Womack actually sort of do some football drills this week. Where are they kind of both at now, and would you be able to even get them involved in any way in the spring game? Yeah, but it's just not something that is worth the risk. You know, he's, he's in a position where, you know, he can do a lot of the, you know, virtually all of the, the drill work, um, but to put him into a spring game, it just doesn't, you know, it doesn't, there's no advantage, you know, from that perspective. So um, we'll give him more time to, to get his leg stronger and um, to the point where, you know, his first contact uh, will be, you know, in, in August. And, and I think that that's probably the, the prudent thing. Hey, Coach. <clears throat> Who are some guys that, with so many guys out that are probably going to be first-team guys in the fall, who kind of used that as an opportunity to step up that might have been second team or even behind that? Um, I think at the, the, the Jack position, probably Jackson Howard um, getting a lot of reps. Um, you know, if, if you think of, you know, the rotations there, you know, that, that probably would put him in a, you know, whether he would have gotten as many reps is, is questionable. Um, I think you, you get a chance to see – um, you know, the, the versatility of, um, you know, Jacoby, you know, uh, Jacoby and Gilroy, you know, his ability to really develop during the spring because he got so many reps um, playing the one and the three. I think he, he was definitely a beneficiary. Um, I would say um, Ty G., um, you know, was Ty J. Adams was a beneficiary of getting a lot of reps. He made really good progress. And I would say Parrish Hand, you know, stands out to me as somebody that I don't know that he necessarily wouldn't have got the reps because we needed to find out about him, but he got so many reps that you could see his progress and, and his grit kind of grow during the spring to the point where like that that was a really good spring for him so I think some of those in inside defensive linemen um, Fitzgerald West benefited greatly uh, coming over from offense to defense and getting a lot of work and then I, I would say finally Quincy uh, Wiggins um, getting a lot of work and and really showing consistency day in and day out, which all of them, as you know, are going to be rotational guys for us um, when, you know, Wingo gets back and uh, certainly Mason gets back to, to, to full, full go. Um, you know, we haven't seen Deshaun Walmack, but, you know, we, we anticipate a guy that's, that's going to be able to compete, you know, for a too deep role as well. So, um, we think Jefferson, based upon his body of work and playing in the, you know, the Big 12, is a guy that, that's going to be in there as well. So, look, I've mentioned a lot of guys. We feel really good about where we're at with the defensive, defensive line because of that. Hey, Coach, just throughout the spring, what kind of changes, maybe improvements, have you seen on special teams? Um... Well, it's hard. You're going. You're really going against air or scout team, um, but you know, I just think that. In, in, and I think I brought this up the other day. The the way we're attacking special teams is much different than we did last year. We have, you know, we have coordinators and assistant coaches that have, you know, uh, responsibilities that they didn't have last year in these units. So. There's just a lot more involvement than, than a singular person. Uh, it's, it's Coach Jancic's, you know, responsibility to coordinate it. But, you know, Lester Erb is, is involved uh, quite a bit, as well as Coach Dembrock and, and Coach House are, are very much involved. Um, and I think we're all taking that approach that the biggest difference is I think our players feel us. I think they feel this kind of everybody's involved in special teams. And because of it, like, it, it just changes the way they see it. 
you know, it's just not like a one man, you know, show. And uh, uh, I got one guy that I got to impress. Um, everybody's got eyes on special teams, and I think it just changes the sense of urgency. So how comfortable are you with the influx of both returning and new players that you're going to get in the fall as far as projecting what this team will look like, and how much work will you really have to do in the fall with those additions? Well, I think it'll be similar to what we just did in the spring, and so it maps out similarly in terms of time. Um, you know, relative to, you know, the three, four weeks that you have. And, and I felt comfortable that we were, you know, we were ready to, you know, insert players in game-like situations after about two and a half weeks. So I think we're in, you know, we're in a similar situation. And now it'll evolve during the year too, like guys will evolve, but we have enough time to insert the players necessary into uh, the roles that will have competitive opportunities for such, right? I think we've talked about the defensive line. Um, you know, I still think that there's, there's room for competitive battles in the secondary. I think there's room for competitive battles on the offensive line. Um, I think there's competitive battles at, at running back. So um, I, I just think that we're in a pretty good position this year compared to last year where I thought last year there was much more work going into the opener against Florida State than there will be going into Florida State this year. Yeah, um, last year you guys really capitalized on this weekend uh, from a recruiting perspective. Do you expect that to be the case? You had a lot of former players on campus last year. Just just kind of talk about it from that perspective. Yeah, Joe Burrow's coming back. He's going to help us in recruiting. Um, he's a pretty good recruiter. Uh, he recruits quarterbacks really well too. Um, and you know we have a number of you know alums that are coming back that we're going to you know, obviously have them involved in recruiting. So, you know, just having our former alums, and it doesn't have to be, look, he's a headliner, but all of our alums have been great in terms of coming back throughout the entire year to help us recruit. We'll have a player panel where it gives us um, an opportunity to discuss what it's like to be part of this program. So the recruits will get that, that kind of side of it as well. Um, and, and they'll get to see the families. Uh, we're going to have a, a crawfish boil after the game, so they'll get a chance to, you know, really see the inside outs of the program. And, yeah, it, it'll be a pretty big day for us. No, no. No. If he, if he is, he hasn't told us. And if, and if he is, he would not want me to tell. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> I'm just curious how Kyron Lacey's been this spring. I've heard him talked up by a couple of the players as someone who last year, even when he had his road bumps, he turned around and took advantage of the off season. He's had a good spring. I think he's, he's a lot more comfortable with uh, where he is uh, positionally. Um, I think at times Kyle was his own worst enemy in terms of his emotional control. I think he's really got that in a great place he was he was up and down at times he's been extremely consistent uh, in the way he's practiced and I think that preparation is going to show itself on Saturdays Brian you said going into the spring you want to have an open-minded quarterback and get yep. Garrett Nussmeyer you know some first team reps how yep. do you think he's done this spring what would you kind of be your evaluation of where he now stands He's really good. I mean, he's had a great spring. He's gotten a lot of work with the first team, and when he's been in with that first group, he's excelled. Um, you know, and again, I, I think that all you can do is is make sure that when they give him, when they're given the opportunity, um, it's fair. And we couldn't we couldn't give him a fair chance if he was just running with an offensive line that has really uh, three guys that we moved over, you know, from other positions. So he had to get a lot of that work with the first team. And, and I think he excelled as well. So 
I think all we've done is, is built the quarterback position up that we have two really, really good quarterbacks. Thanks, Coach. Great. Thank you.